I grew up in a very small town, uh, Higginsville, Missouri, just outside of the Kansas City area. My parents were a huge influence on my life. My father especially, who was uh, always there for me. My parents both always there, but my dad was the guy that kind of like supported me from the very beginning in, in the sport of wrestling. I uh, started in wrestling in a kind of a unique way. Um, my high school wrestling coach actually met me outside of the basketball meeting on the first day of the sport sports season and uh, he just came up to me and basically said you will be at wrestling practice on Monday and I was I was afraid of him he intimidated me I was scared to tell him no uh, I had desire to play basketball as my freshman year when I went to high school but uh, that that's basically what got me started in wrestling my high school career was a good career I enjoyed it uh, tremendous opportunities uh, wrestled in a very small town again Higginsville uh, I ended up being a state champion my senior year. I, I guess the next uh, phase of my life began when I went to college. On my uh, final recruiting trip to Central Missouri State, I met with head coach Roger Dinker, and we actually had an opportunity to play some golf together. And uh, after we played, um, he put a scholarship form in front of me, a room scholarship to go to Central Missouri State. And at that point, I told him, I'm not real sure that this is still what I want to do, and uh, at, that, at that time, Coach Dinker said uh, in, his, in his wisdom that if I chose not to go to Central Missouri State, that uh, I needed to pay my own green fees. And uh, I didn't have a penny on me, and he handed me the pen, and I signed at Central Missouri State University. I had an incredible experience in college. Um, it kept me hungry in the sport. And immediately after college, I served one year as a graduate assistant at Central Missouri and then continued to coach for the next seven years as head coach at UCM. I'm not sure that any one person or any individual ever drove me into or suggested that I officiate. It was just kind of my inner drive to want to be able to be connected at all levels. There's no question in my mind that being a wrestler, uh, being a coach, has helped me become a better official. I think it's, it's, it works both ends. Um, I, I'm a better coach, I think, because of my officiating, and I also think it's the other way as well. Uh, those opportunities presented being on the mat with some of the greatest wrestlers in the world uh, definitely helps me in my coaching experiences. I've had an opportunity to work a lot of high-profile competitions, uh, including the NCAA Division I Championships since 2003. Um, I don't know what those numbers bring, is how many years it's, I've been involved. I've also had a chance to, to officiate the Big 12s uh, and the Pac 12s, and those opportunities are amazing. Probably one of the most memorable experiences in officiating was just this past year uh, in Madison Square Garden. Uh, you know, I was looking forward to the opportunity to go to Madison Square Garden, be a part of that experience. You have to live in the moment when that whistle sounds from the very beginning of the match making sure that you're diligent about staying on top of the rules, making sure that um, you are very active in the match and, and making sure that you are on top of your game each and every time. About the time you think that you have, it's, it's an easy match or it's gonna go slowly, then things begin to get unraveled. You really have to check your ego at the door. Uh, you have so many things happening in a match that challenge you as a person, challenge you, your character challenges everything, uh, your knowledge of the sport, and so your ego, if it's too big, it will get you into trouble. His background and knowledge of the sport and the rules, the way they're interpreted, the way they're applied, uh, mixed with, uh, at his core, is a man of integrity that wants to get it right for the combatants. He wants to get it right for those wrestlers. There are some times where, the, the, when coaches challenge you that, uh, you know, coaches obviously have a valid point. I certainly think that as a coach, when I'm coaching, uh, I believe I have a valid point or I wouldn't say what I had to say. So I do think that most officials do learn. I think you have to be very, uh, careful about what you listen to, but at the same time, coaches make their points, and uh, I think people have to understand officials generally do listen to some of those things that they hear from the corner. You're always honest, you're fair, you're one of the best officials I've ever seen in this sport of wrestling, and I, I couldn't uh, hope for a better official when I had my guys at the national tournament. Uh, in coaching and in officiating, uh, if you think you're bigger than the sport, it'll knock you down in, in a second. This is something that um, I probably have learned more than anything else is just simple humility. 
The advice that I would give to people that are wanting to get into officiating would be patience and understand that uh, no two people are going to go at it exactly the same way. I certainly wouldn't advise uh, a young person getting into officiating to do it the way that I have, is to coach uh, at the high school level, coach internationally, and then also officiate. I think that Mike Haggerty will go down as being one of the best officials ever to officiate. He's very quick and he doesn't, he does not bring the camera to him. My, my family are actually the ones that have made the sacrifices. Uh, from my wife, Francesca, at, to Keenan, my son, uh, my three daughters, Mariah, Michaela, and Haley, uh, they're the ones that have actually made the commitment. I had the opportunity to travel and experience this great sport from all levels. It means the world to me to, to be inducted into the Hall of Fame in Stillwater. Uh, there, there's, walking through the Hall of Fame and noting all of the people that have gone before me, uh, wrestlers, coaches, and officials, this, uh, this is the most memorable uh, moment in my life.